welcome to everybody. Um, introductions, uh, my name is Mike Godfrey, I'm the uh, chaplain of the Morley branch of the British Legion, which is why I'm standing here helping you today. And uh, it's good to welcome other people representing the wider area beyond Driglington. So we've got Major uh, Hardy here, who is the representing Your Majesty the Queen, as the Deputy Lord Lieutenant of West Yorkshire. And uh, Councillor Anne Castle, who is the um, Lord Mayor of Leeds. And we want to welcome too uh, David Marshall, Leeds Group Chairman of the British Legion, and Stephen Salter, Driglington. Parish Council. And just looking, so welcome to you people, but welcome to all of you, because uh, looking around here we have uh, such a variety of ages. Uh, so we have veterans here who have personal experience in the armed forces. We have uh, cadets, uh, I can see air cadets here and sea cadets, that's just wonderful to see. And lots and lots of folks here from Driglington. Uh, so welcome. So why have we come here today? That's obvious, I hope. Uh, we've come to reded rededicate this war, war memorial, which has meant so much uh, to so many people. Back in 1933, in November, the uh, members of this uh, district uh, installed here a cross. And uh, these uh, plaques that you can see on it have uh, been added over the years. So 1914-18, uh, remembrance then of the many who died in that war. And if we look down on uh, the, uh, the bottom of the, the, the plinth here. In 1933, as it was erected, these words were said, If we break faith, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. And then, of course, uh, after the Second World War, a second plaque was added for the 1939-1945 conflict. And in a moment, uh, we're going to um, unveil uh, the names of those that we're remembering here today. And I'm sure there are others in your memories and in your hearts today you're thinking about, both in the past and maybe uh, in the recent past, the recent months and years. So we've come to remember and to honour those people who have served their country well and who have uh, given us so much in the freedom that we enjoy. And it's been wonderful to see this place uh, rejuvenated from what it was. So we need to pay tribute uh, to those who've made it possible. Uh, so there's been a team of, uh, of folks who have designed and put it all together, and uh, that's just wonderful. And amongst them all, if we can pick out one person, can we pick out Robert Child, who actually has done all the work to, uh, to build it in this way. So if it's appropriate, folks, to those who have uh, provided us with this refreshed and renewed memorial, and for Robert, who's done the, the laboring, as it were, uh, can we say thank you in a clap? Come on, let's hit all of them for doing a wonderful job and providing us with this lovely memorial today that we can celebrate and meet it. Almighty God, in you alone, we find safety and peace. We commend to your gracious keeping all the men and women who serve in the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force, who face danger and put their lives at risk so that others might live in safety. Defend them day by day by your heavenly power and help them to know that they can never pass beyond the reach of your care. Keep alive in them and in us your vision of, of that peace which alone we must seek and serve through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless, O Lord, this memorial, which we, together, rededicate in your name. May it remind all those who pass this way of those who have served their country, even unto death. 
May it remind us to pray for them. May it remind servicemen and women of their promise faithfully to serve our Sovereign Lady, the Queen of the Common Welfare of the United Kingdom. And together we say, Amen. Amen. When you go home, tell him of us and say, For your tomorrows, we gave our today. Ha <laughs> ha 